Where's my dad? Who are you? I'm your mother, Cynthia. No, you're not. This is my mother. Susan, tell her. You can't make Alexis go with you. It was the judge's decision. It's in her best interest. It's not. It's not. I want my dad. You can't stay with your father, Alexis. Because you're going to put him in jail for killing that lady, aren't you? Well, he didn't kill her. I did. She was calling my dad a bastard. She wouldn't shut up. She wouldn't leave. And I pushed her. She just kept after my dad. She wouldn't shut up about my mother and what he'd done to her. She was grabbing at him and telling him to wait. And I shoved her away from him. And she fell. What happened after that? Dad took my hand, and we left the subway station. The witnesses mentioned a man and a woman. They didn't say anything about a young girl. I wasn't with them. Dad sent me down first. He was trying to get rid of her outside, but she followed him down. You've met the father. Yes. This kid's hinky. I don't want to rush into anything. I have no idea if she's lying or telling the truth. You'll be willing to have her examined by our psychiatrist? Kid just keeps saying she did it, not her dad. Did she? In my opinion, no. She's covering for him. Did he put her up to it? More likely, she took it on herself. Why? Fear. She can't imagine a world where Fallon's not right there directing traffic. At 16, shouldn't she be starting to go her own way? There is no way but Dad's way. Can't prosecute her. She didn't do it. Can't prosecute him with her saying she did. We could lean on Fallon some more. Using what for leverage? Uh, maybe his daughter's suffering. <laughs> If he cared about that, he wouldn't have spent the last 18 years convincing his children they don't exist apart from him. How did he do that? Relentlessly. Jack, we got to get this bastard. On what charge? You can't indict Mr. Fallon for kidnapping. Statute of limitations is run. Second degree, yes. Kidnap one is an A1 felony. No time limits. <laughs> Fallon wasn't asking for ransom. The victims didn't die. What's the basis? A person is guilty of kidnapping when he abducts another with intent to terrorize him. Fallon psychologically terrorized his daughters from that day to this. Says who? Skoda, Eleanor Tasca. Skoda was spouting theory, a woman who wasn't there. Read the transcript of Skoda's session with a girl. Fallon might as well have held a gun to his kids' heads. He inflicted the same level of fear. Hang him. Execute him. William Fallon is entirely responsible for the circumstances that led to Marion Hollis's death. Is that a no? No. Your Honor, this is a ludicrous interpretation of the kidnapping statute. Mr. Fallon should never have been arrested. The statute is clear, and Mr. Fallon clearly violated it. You say Mr. Fallon assumed control of his children in order to terrorize them. You say he assumed control over them to save them from an unfit mother. Is that the gist? Penal Law, Section 135.30. I'm familiar with the statute, Counselor. You have a built-in affirmative defense. He did not intend to terrorize them. As for you, Mr. McCoy, this better be worth the court's time. March 8th, 1984. He took them from school, and I never saw them again. Until a couple of months ago. The authorities said it was custodial interference, not serious. And the private detectives I hired never found a trace. People seven, Your Honor, this is the judge's ruling awarding you custody of your children. Could you read the highlighted passage? 
Mr. Tasca is clearly more concerned about losing control of his family than he is about the welfare of his children. When you were married to the defendant, how did he treat you? Like a slave. Everything had to be done his way. He instructed me how his shirts had to be folded, how the pantry had to be arranged, the right way to fluff pillows. What if you didn't do it the right way? He instructed me again and again until I did it right. Did he treat the children the same way? Yes. He controlled their every move, telling them what to do, what to think, how to feel. How did he do that with very small children? Told them only bad girls soiled their diapers, only bad girls cried. From what age? From birth. Did he think they could understand him? It was a process. He started early and just ground them down. He never let up. If Susan was playing with a toy and didn't put it back exactly where he told her, he would break it in front of her and tell her, good girls always mind daddy. How did Susan react? After a while, she didn't make any more mistakes. Was she afraid of him? Of course she was. It broke my heart. Did your husband hit you or the girls? Did he even threaten you with violence? That wasn't his way of... Yes or no? No. February 12th, 1984. Were you arrested on a DWI charge? I wasn't drunk. I was on medication. Would that be medication for chronic depression? You'd be depressed, too, if you were married. Was your daughter Susan in the car at the time that you were pulled over? Yes. Driving erratically while under the influence, whether of alcohol or medication, with a three-year-old in the car, and you want the jury to believe that your husband was putting the girls in jeopardy by making them pick up their toys? I. I have nothing further, Your Honor.